What the hell? Groot has been traveling recently as Rocket's personal houseplant slash muscle. So, you know, Vin, uh, one thing I was curious about as I was watching the film was that, you know, when you and James were working on Groot's voice, did you, in every instance, sort of have the full translation in your head of what you were trying to say? Totally. Yeah? And it's, it's a testament to why, in some ways, a character works so well. When I came into the recording booth, Although you would assume that there would be only three words in that recording booth, I am Groot, there was like a 50-page document, and on the left side of every page was I am Groot, five to ten times. On the right side was a paragraph or a sentence about what he was really trying to say. Mm -hmm. And so the game quickly became taking what he was really trying to say and distilling it down, and it was... Tricky, not hard, but tricky and fun and challenging. And I was really lucky that, that James Gunn cared so much about the character and was willing to go that extra length to, to, to try to breathe life into the character. I have a plan. You've got a plan. I have part of a plan. It's a fake laugh. <laughs> it's real. Totally fake. I am Groot. Thank you. Uh, How many takes would you use for each like individual one? We would do I, maybe five to ten takes, and then they would say it's perfect, and then I would go, "Can I have one more?" And that would be another twenty takes. Um, I guess I recognized how how important it was to get the perfect and the right sentiment in each line. And because of that, and because I didn't have to be on set and shoot the movie for six months, I felt like <laughs> I should give everything I can to each time Groot said something. And, you know, this character obviously has like a really deep emotional arc for a character that only has three words. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, how much of that did you have mapped out with James and sort of his own just his character and his inner self. Well, that was the fun in kind of describing and talking about the character was this character's arc. And the idea of playing with the character that was both innocent and probably the most innocent character I've played, and at the same time a character with great formidability and great power. But early on, in fact, even when Kevin Feige called and presented the role, uh, he was presenting a role that he knew had a really healthy and beautiful arc. And that's really what acting and creating characters is all about. It doesn't matter how big your role is, as long as it's got a beginning, middle, and end. Marvel, your universe.